What's up, you guys? My name is Katie, and I am a fifth year teacher who teaches third grade in the state of Florida, and I'm so glad you're here for this week's video. This week, I thought I would do a little sit down video with like two main focuses. First off is like my favorite things of 2022, lessons I've learned in 2022, and then I'll share a little bit about my goals for 2023. I realized that I'm a little bit late to the game in sharing all these things. Um, I ended my 2022 a little haphazardly. We did a lot of Christmas travels to go see family and all those things. So I didn't even get one day in my house before I started work back up for 2023. So I feel like I haven't had time to like decompress, sit down, write things down, think about my year until now. So I apologize that this is going up like probably mid January um, and not like right at the beginning of 2023, but it's never too late, never too late y'all. So I'm sitting down to film it now. I don't really wanna make this a super long video, so I'll try to keep it as concise as possible. I just got home from work not too long ago. I'm still in my work clothes, except I changed into leggings, and I'm sitting here under a blanket because it's cold in my house, which doesn't make sense because it's Florida. I think it's like 50 degrees outside, but I'm a little chilly. So I'm just all cozied up with my computer where I have all of my favorites, lessons that I've learned, all that stuff typed up, and I'm just gonna go through the list and share them with you guys. All right, first up, I have my favorite things for 2022, and I have a couple different categories. First one is my favorite memory of 2022, and my favorite 2002 memory has got to be buying our house. When David and I got our house, it was a super exciting time, and I think my favorite day was the day we signed on the house. We did our final walkthrough, and then we signed the papers. It's actually kind of funny because I had the day off, not for a fun reason, because I had to go get a filling at the dentist, and I got that filling at literally 7.30 in the morning, and then that afternoon, we went and did the walkthrough and signed papers, and then we went to Moe's to celebrate, and it was a very sweet time because buying a house was a huge thing that we did this past year, and the day that we signed made it feel really official. And we kind of got a brief moment of like enjoying being homeowners. Like we did it. We like went through everything you have to go through to buy a house before we actually got into the house and had to do all the reno because um, the previous owners stayed here for like two weeks after we like officially owned the house. So it's cool because we were like, yeah, we did it. We bought the house and we weren't having to do anything to it because then afterwards, we had this whole month of May where we still lived in our apartment, but we owned the house and the people were gone and we scraped popcorn ceilings. We painted every single wall. We cleaned, we moved and it was, oh my gosh, it was so exhausting all at the end of a school year. So I really liked that day that we signed because it was like, ah, and it was before the whirlwind of stuff, but we're so glad we did all of that to our space. No regrets in removing and painting and doing all those things. Um, cause it's really made our house so enjoyable. Are we, close to being done? Absolutely not. But I feel like it's a really nice space. And so that's my favorite memory. My favorite trip from this year, I have two. My first one was in March for spring break. I went to visit my best friend from high school and I met her little baby for the first time. And so that was so much fun to get to go see her and meet her little daughter. And then second, we made a ton of trips to Universal this summer. If you want to watch one, I vlogged one from the summer and I'll link that above for you guys. Um, but one of my favorite trips of like the whole year in general is we went to Universal at the end of, no, middle of December. So right when I got out of school, we went with our best like couple friends. And when I say it was like the perfect trip to Universal, it was perfect. The weather was nice. We could wear sweatshirts and leggings and like be fine. Um, we rode everything that we wanted to ride and we didn't have to like wait for a very long time. I got a Starbucks while we were in there and it was just sipping on some coffee to keep me warm. Um, we got soaked on a water ride. We didn't think we'd, got, we'd get soaked on and it was hilarious and we died laughing. Um, so that trip was like so much fun. Next is my favorite beauty item. My favorite beauty item from this past year has got to be claw clips. And the reason why I was obsessed with claw clips this year is because at the beginning of last year, I think I shared this in a video like way back last year, one of my goals was to wash my hair every other day because I was washing it every day. Um, and I made that goal, woohoo, go me. 
And the claw clip was amazing because if it's straight, I go two days without washing. If it's curly, I can go three days with it styled. Um, but by the end, it gets so annoying and it may not look the best anymore. And so I could just clip it up and they're in style and very functional. I got my favorite ones are from TJ Maxx. So I've got like a big pack of them. Some of them that have like the tortoise pattern and then my friend got me some solid ones. So if you're looking for some TJ Maxx, that's the place. <laughs> Um, next favorite is my favorite drink, cold brew coffee. I've loved me some good cold brew coffee this year. Um, I've had my fair share of iced lattes as well, don't get me wrong, but I'd say cold brew coffee has probably been my favorite. Favorite book, this, this one's kind of cheating, but not quite. My favorite book is Where the Crawdads Sing. Um, and the reason I say it's kind of cheating is because I haven't finished it yet and it's technically 2023, but I read the majority of it in 2022. So we're going to count it. And I actually started it at like the best time ever because I went on a family beach trip in December to a beach in North Carolina. And so I started reading it on a balcony overlooking the beach in North Carolina. And if you've read the book, you know why that is like the best time to start reading Where the Crawdads Sing. Don't spoil the ending for me, but I'm hoping by the time this goes up, I have finished it and I will get to watch the movie soon. My favorite podcast, um, I have two answers, two, two answers for this one. Um, the first one is one that I listen to all the time. It's called The Naked Marriage Podcast. It's by Dave and Ashley Willis. They are on YouTube and it's on podcasts wherever you get your podcasts. Um, I love that one. They came and spoke at a marriage event the first year Dave and I were married and I've listened to their podcast ever since. They have great sound advice, um, from a Christian viewpoint on marriage and how to make your marriage work. And so I listen to that one pretty consistently. It's one of the only ones that I listen to pretty consistently. And another favorite from this year was the Sold a Story podcast. If you are a teacher and you have not listened to that, you need to go listen to it because it will blow your mind. It's all about um, the history of reading instruction in America. Wild, wild. Sold a Story. Totally recommend it. Uh, my favorite day of teaching from this past year was Pirate Day. It was the first theme day that I had at my new school and with third graders, and it was just really, really fun, and I also love pirates. I'm obsessed with the Pirates of the Caribbean music, so it was a great day. I vlogged the whole thing, so I'll link that above if you want to go check out Pirate Day. Yeah, that was my favorite teaching day of the year. Um, and then my favorite meal, I have like two answers for this one. The first one is I have a great tortilla soup recipe that I found this year from Pinterest. I will share it in the description so you can try it out. And I think the reason I liked it is because it was new and we invited friends over the first time I made it. And I was like, this is a new recipe. I don't know, don't know how it's going to taste. And we ate every drop and everybody was like, this was the best. And so I've made it a couple times since then. It's a really great go-to soup. So I will share that with you guys. And then um, as far as going out to eat meal wise, I'm a sucker for an eight count meal with a Dr. Pepper from Chick-fil-A. I'm just a creature of habit. I get the same thing everywhere I go every time. So that would be on the list. Or we have a local place here that sells like giant slices of pizza. And they have a really good Hawaiian pizza with pineapple, chicken, bacon, and Gouda cheese, I think it is. Mm, it's delicious and I haven't had it that many times in 2022, but I'm always down for it and I know I have had it in 2022. So I think that's my answer for that. <laughs> All right, the next section is going to be lessons that I've learned in 2022 and I have four different categories for them. Um, I have general lessons that I've learned, school lessons that I've learned, personal lesson, and a spiritual lesson. So I will share these four with you, like some of my takeaways from this past year. First one is a general lesson. 2022, I learned how to take back my evenings slash weekends slash life. Um, I started off the year in a place where my job was not my favorite thing in the world and I didn't enjoy it that much, to be honest. And I really needed to enjoy my evenings and look forward to my rest on the weekends and look forward to going places with David and with friends to make it, if we're being honest. And so I feel like this year I really grew in being able to not think about school on the weekends and to or in the evenings and to really enjoy my time, if that makes sense. Um, part of that is because it's my fifth year teaching and so I kind of know when I'm like, okay, that's just fluff that doesn't need to be done and this is what needs to be done. I, maybe I manage my time better. 
but also just that necessity of I need a break. And so 2022 for me was the year I got my free time back and I enjoyed it like worry free for the most part. Like I did nothing over Christmas break, absolutely nothing. And I didn't stress about school one bit and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And that's more than I can say for years in the past. <laughs> my school lesson um, was don't be afraid to make a change to do what's best for you. And without going into a lot of details, cause there's not, I don't need to share too many details on my channel. Um, I started 2022 in a place where I just felt like I was not thriving in my job. And I learned quickly that not every teaching position is right for you or is a perfect fit for you or a good fit for you. Um, and that was hard because when I lived in Alabama, I taught at the same school for three years. I interned there. I loved it. I would still be there if we didn't have to move. Um, and so to come into a school year where I felt stuck and I felt like I wasn't a good teacher, and I felt like I w like wasn't doing, I wasn't having fun with it like I used to. And I was like, am I burnt out? Am I really not cut out for this? Was I just good at it because I was at that other school? But now if it's completely different, I suck. And it was really hard. Um, and I came to a part, like a point in the year where I just had to say, I can either stick it out and think like it's gonna get better or I can do what I can and change my situation. And I decided to change positions, change schools, and it was a great decision. And I feel like where I'm at now is a much better fit for me. So if you are feeling stuck, that's my growth from 2022 is don't be afraid to make a change to do what's best for you. And it's scary and the conversations aren't fun and interviewing's not always fun and the uncertainty isn't fun, but it was worth it for me in the end to find a position that was a better fit, if that makes sense. And I feel like this year or the end of the year was me getting my my grip back as a teacher, like feeling like I have my feet under myself again because I just kind of ended the school year midway through 2022 feeling like, I don't even know if I'm a good teacher. Like, I don't know what's wrong. I, I don't know why I'm not liking it, feeling successful, all of those things. And so this year has the second half of the year was kind of picking myself back up and saying like, you are a good teacher and you know what you're doing and you know how to teach these kids. So I feel like that's definitely my biggest school lesson that I've learned. Um, and then my personal lesson is close friends are everything. I have so many close friends in my life that I value so much. Um, some of them live in Alabama and every time we went to visit them this year, I would like get teary eyed leaving because it's just like picking up right where we left off. Like they know me, I know them. If I'm struggling with something, I let them know. I can update them on how my life has been. They update me. We hang out, we laugh and it's so fun. And I feel like David and I have really made those friends here in Florida as well now, which is so fantastic to feel like, hey, we have friends in, in Florida because moving is hard. It's so hard to meet new friends. So if you're in that position where you feel like you don't have those close friends, my recommendation for you is to get in a small group in a local church because that's where we met our friends and it takes time and you have to be intentional and you just keep going and you just keep going. Um, David's really good at making new friends. I'm not as great at it, but he's so good at pushing me to be intentional and to spend time with people so I feel like that's been my favorite is just being able to make new friends and develop closer friendships where I'm able to say, hey, this is something I'm struggling with, help me out. And then they could say, me too. And like, we can bond over that. And yeah, I think that's been like my biggest personal thing is close friends are everything. That's my personal lesson. And then my biggest spiritual lesson is be intentional with the lessons that you learn in the word. So this past year, as far as studying the Bible goes, our church has done some book studies, um, and I don't mean like other books. I mean like book of the Bible studies, and they have been so fantastic in helping me see how you can study a book of the Bible and look at it two different ways. Like you can look at the big picture of the book, and you can look at the little details of the book. And when you look at the big picture, you can look and see how does what's in the scripture here fit into God's big redemptive story. And then you can look at the little details and think, how does this apply to my life? And I am a firm believer in writing in my Bible. So I have so many notes from the book of Ruth. We did one on Revelation too, but Ruth is the one that stood out to me the most um, because it was so fun to get to study it on my own. And I always like remind myself, it's not knowledge for the sake of knowledge. It's knowledge for the sake of being closer to Christ. Um, and so I feel like it's been so 
so rewarding to be intentional with how I'm studying scripture and being able to feel kind of independent and in finding things in scripture on my own. Like, hey, I found these character traits about Ruth when I read. And then like seeing it confirmed in a church message or when I'm talking with others, they're like, yeah, I saw that too. Um, but really taking ownership of learning scripture. And yeah, I think that's that's been my biggest spiritual lesson from 2022. All right, so goals for 2023. I'm gonna be honest, completely honest with you. I really haven't sat down and made very many goals, but here's the reason why. I ended, did I say 2022 or 2023? I've said so many years now, my brain's like exploding. I ended 2022 in a very content way. Like I was really happy with how I felt, my relationships, we got to see family. I was happy with how my job was going. Um, so I think like my motto for 2023 is more of the same, like more of the same, enjoying my time with my friends and family, more of the same of putting effort into my job for sure. And trying to be the best that I can, but not overworking myself, um, more of the same of cooking dinners and being, um, I was about to say a housewife, not a housewife, but like taking care of the house and doing laundry. I just really felt like I ended in a really good way. So I think the only goal that I have for 2023 is like fitness. I'm going to get back into that and be a little more consistent, but not for the sake of like, I want to lose weight or I want to build muscle, but just, I need to get my body to be active again. And I kind of started again, I started that at the end of 2022 because I started picking up running a little bit, but a friend and I are going to get into some YouTube workouts and do different things. Um, not filming YouTube workouts. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to find other people who are like um, good at it and watch theirs. Um, but that's like it. And then I also found a really good quote when I was listening to the Naked Marriage podcast the other day. Um, and here was the quote. And I think this would be like my quote. I have two quotes for 2023. More of the same because I just feel like I ended the year on a really good note. And then my next quote is life is about relationships. Start with Jesus and work your way down. And I was like, that is a great quote to live live by. Life is about relationships. Start with Jesus and then work your way down. Um, it's That's so good because it talks about like, I mean, all the relationships with Christ, with your spouse, with your family, with your coworkers, with your friends, all of them are encapsulated in that. But it also emphasizes like those are important, but also priority and prioritizing different relationships. Like start with Jesus, work your way down. I'm still, I mean, y'all, I just found this quote like two or three days ago. So it's still like blowing my mind. <laughs> so that is all I have for today's video. Um, fun fact, if you want to know, which you might not want to know, this is the second time I've sat down and recorded all of this because the first time I did it, I set up my tripod and I'm using my, um, not my selfie cam. I'm using the actual camera on my phone because it's better quality. I filmed the whole thing with my head cropped off. So if my head is cropped off at all in this video, I am not filming it again. And I'm so sorry that you couldn't see the lovely crown of my head. I was like, are you for real? Did I really just do that? So I just sat down and shared all of those things again. And so now I really need a sip of water. In fact, I need to chug this entire water. Um, and I'm going to watch a football game because the national championship is on tonight. And go frogs. Is that it? Horn frogs. Yeah, because I'm an Auburn fan. So I really don't necessarily want Georgia to win. So I'm just going to sit and enjoy watching football tonight. So that's all I've got for this video. Um, please comment below anything that you loved in 2022 or lessons you learned and any new year's resolutions that you have going forward in 2023. Thanks for still watching this video, even though it's not like January 1st. I appreciate that. <laughs> please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my content in the new year. And as always, Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. It's funny because I said that the first time I filmed it and then I like filmed the next one immediately after. Oh my goodness. <laughs>